Good morning. Welcome to BBC Newsroom Live. I'm Carrie Gracie. The former Scottish First Minister Alex Salmond has been arrested and charged with an offence. It's not yet known what Mr Salmond's been charged with. Police had been investigating following the Scottish Government inquiry into complaints of sexual harassment, which he strongly denies. Well, let's hear now from our correspondent in Glasgow, Katrina Renton. Katrina, what can you tell us? Well, Carrie, this is of course sending shockwaves around the Scottish political world this morning. All police have said so far in a statement is that a 64-year-old man has been arrested and charged. However, it has been confirmed that that man is Alex Salmond. He's not in custody and it's expected that he will appear in court, although again we don't know which court, sometime pre presumably probably this afternoon. Now, this follows allegations that were made a year ago last January by two female staff members at the Scottish Government who made formal complaints about Mr Salmon's conduct dating back to December 2013 when he was First Minister of Scotland. A Scottish Government investigation was launched but Mr Salmon complained that confidential information about him had been leaked and he resigned from the SNP and then he took the Scottish Government to court uh, over the process that had been carried out there and indeed that case was then dropped by the Scottish Government, it was ruled in Mr Salmon's favour. But police have been also investigating complaints into the first, former First Minister and that is what we're expecting to be find out more about today when he appears in court. Now, we must stress that Mr Salmon has always denied any criminal wrongdoing at any point in these two processes that have been reported on and we will find out more this afternoon about what it is that he has been arrested and charged with. Katrina, thanks so much. Good morning. It's the 21st, 24th rather of January and I'm Carrie Gracie. The former Scottish First Minister Alex Salmond has been arrested and charged with an offence. It's not yet known what Mr Salmond has been charged with. Police had been investigating following a Scottish Government inquiry into complaints of sexual harassment, which he strongly denies. Well, let's hear more from our correspondent in Glasgow, Katrina Renton. Well, Carrie, this is of course sending shockwaves around the world of Scottish politics and beyond. All that we know so far is that police have issued a statement saying that a 64-year-old man has been arrested and charged. We do not know what those charges are at the moment. However, it has been confirmed that the man is Alex Salmond, the former First Minister of Scotland. And he's not in custody. It's expected he will appear in court later today. The Crown Office has yet to tell us which court that will be heard in. Now, this follows, as you were saying um, in the lead-in there, allegations made a year ago last January by two female members of the Scottish Government who made formal complaints about Mr Salmon's conduct dating back to December 2013 when he was still First Minister. Now, a Scottish in Government investigation was launched into that. Mr Salmon resigned from the M SNP. He took his own former government to court to complain about how that investigation had been handled that it had been unfair, that in confidential information gathered throughout it had been leaked and when he went to court a judge ruled in his favour. But at the same time as that investigation was going on, separately police were confirmed that they were investigating complaints against Alex Salmond. Now Alex Salmond is a huge political figure in Scotland and of course in the UK he was Scotland's longest serving First Minister from 2007 to 2014. He was the first ever SNP First Minister and he led the Yes campaign in the referendum for Scottish independence in 2014. Now the result of that 55% to 45% meant that he resigned his post when Scotland voted to stay in the United Kingdom. But he's continued to be a huge figure on the Scottish political stage. Now, as I said, we don't know yet what these charges are. We're expecting him to appear in court at some point this afternoon. But I must stress that all the way through all of these processes, Mr Salmond has strenuously denied any criminal activity. So much.
Hello, good afternoon and welcome to the BBC News at One. The former First Minister of Scotland, Alex Salmond, has been arrested and charged. He is due to appear at Edinburgh Sheriff Court this afternoon. Police have not yet said what he's charged with. They had been investigating complaints against him of sexual harassment, which he strenuously denies. Well, our Scotland correspondent, Lorna Gordon, is in Edinburgh for us with the latest. Lorna. Yes, Alex Hammond, a very well-known figure in Scottish politics, in UK politics, is expected to appear here at Edinburgh Sheriff Court in just a short while after the news that he had been arrested by police. Alex Hammond, a former First Minister, the man who led the SNP into government, led the drive for a referendum on Scottish independence, a titan of Scottish politics. Arrested and charged by Police Scotland and expected to appear here at Edinburgh Sheriff Court later. It's not known what charges he will face. The news comes a fortnight since the former First Minister attended a hearing at Scotland's highest civil court, Morning. the Court of Session in Edinburgh, when the Scottish Government conceded that its internal investigation of complaints of sexual misconduct against him was flawed. That hearing focused on procedures followed, not the substance of the allegations. A separate police inquiry into those allegations has been ongoing. Mr Salmon strongly denies any wrongdoing, any criminality. A former First Minister of Scotland requiring to take the administration of the Scottish Government to court to establish that point should not have been necessary. And the person who is responsible for that, that institutional failure, the Permanent Secretary to the Scottish Government should consider her position and take the appropriate action. There is considerable media interest in this appearance. Mr Salmond is expected to vigorously defend himself against any charges he may face. Lorna Gordon, BBC News. Well, when it comes to the legal process here in Scotland, proceedings are now live and as always at this point in proceedings in a Scottish court, an appearance is in private. Uh, Scotland's First Minister Nicola Sturgeon, when asked about uh, what's going on today, when asked about it earlier, said that this will be a shock to many people. But as Police Scotland have said today, these are now live criminal proceedings and now more than ever she said it would be completely inappropriate for her or anyone else she said for that matter to comment in any detail. Mr Salmond is expected at court here in Edinburgh in the next short while. All right Lorna thank you very much indeed Lorna Gordon reporting there from Edinburgh. Hello everyone this is Afternoon Live I'm Simon McCoy. The former First Minister of Scotland, Alex Salmond, has arrived for a court hearing in Edinburgh after being arrested and charged. Police haven't yet said what he's charged with. Let's go over to the Edinburgh court now and we can join Lorna Gordon, who joins us now. So just talk us through what happens now. Yes, Alex Salmond, former First Minister of Scotland, former leader of uh, the SNP, uh, the man who negotiated uh, a referendum on Scottish independence, arrived within the last five minutes at Edinburgh Sheriff Court. He shook hands uh, with a member of the public as he entered the court precinct. He didn't answer questions from the media, media one reporter asking him how he was feeling. Um, he arrived for the court hearing that is expected to start imminently. This will be uh, an appearance in private here at Edinburgh Sheriff Court. That is normal for this stage in any legal proceedings here in Scotland. We do not know yet what he has been charged with. What we do know is that he was arrested. We understand he was arrested and questioned and then arrested yesterday and charged by Police Scotland. We do not know what those charges are, uh, but Mr Salmond has has strongly denied any criminality, any allegations of wrongdoing in connection with a Scottish government investigation into sexual harassment charges, uh, sexual harassment claims against Mr. Sama made by uh, two women and which are alleged to have taken place in 2013. Mr. Sama strongly denies any allegations of wrongdoing in connection uh, with those claims. Lorna, I'll be back to you later. For now, thank you very much. Lorna Gordon there in Edinburgh.
And it's Pulling out of that, we're going to take you to Edinburgh. Alex Salmond has appeared in court following his arrest. Let's just hear now, from him. Yesterday, with my uh, solicitor, Callum Anderson, I uh, attended a police station in central Scotland. Uh, I was released on condition that I came to the court today to face the charges against me. That I have now done. So let me say at the outset, I am innocent of any criminality whatsoever. As you'll remember in the long process of judicial review, I made it clear in order to respect the court that I would make no comment until proceedings had concluded. That I did in the, the statement I made in the, the steps of the court of session two weeks ago. Now that these proceedings, criminal proceedings, are live, it is even more important to respect the court. And therefore, the only thing I can say is I refute absolutely these allegations of criminality. And I'll defend myself to the utmost in court. I've got great faith in the, the court system of Scotland. I've got recent cause to have great faith in the court system of Scotland. That is where I'll state my case. Now, I'm informed the uh, court rules are that uh, your questions and my answers might well breach court rules. You know me well enough to, to know that I'd love to, to say a great deal more, but I've got to observe the rules of the court, and in court is where I'll state my case. Uh, and therefore, if you'll forgive me, I'm going back in to consult my legal team. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. So the former Scottish First Minister, Alex Salmond, uh, saying that he denies all allegations of criminality which have been laid against him following his arrest and charge yesterday. Uh, that's the situa situation in Edinburgh. We'll be getting more from our co Scotland correspondent, Lorna Gordon, who was in court. We'll be talking to her a little later on. So that's the latest in Edinburgh. Now let's uh, get more on that uh, developing story, the appearance of the former First Minister of Scotland, Alex Salmond, in court in Edinburgh. Let's go to our Scotland correspondent, Lorna Gordon, who's outside Edinburgh Sheriff Court for us now. Lorna, what's happened? Yeah, well, Alex Salmond arrived here at Edinburgh Sheriff Court uh, about an hour ago. There was handshakes, but no comments made to the waiting public and media. But within the last few minutes, he appeared uh, outside the court and made a statement to the waiting press. He said that yesterday, by prior agreement and consistent with previous efforts, he voluntarily attended a police station. He's always maintained that he never engaged in criminality, and he maintains that position. And Mr. Salmond also said he has great faith in the court system. He said he had recent reason to have great faith in the court system in Scotland uh, in saying that, alluding of course uh, to that court of session uh, judicial review two weeks ago where the Scottish Government uh, conceded that its investigation into allegations of sexual harassment uh, claims made against Mr Salmond had been procedurally unfair. Uh, those allegations of course uh, Mr Salmond has always denied. Um, he said uh, it is within the court system that he will state his case. He then returned into the court um, and so we expect at some point this afternoon for him to depart. We do not know what he has been charged with uh, but we do know he was arrested and charged by Police Scotland. It's understood that happened yesterday but Mr Salmond strongly denies any suggestions of criminality. In Edinburgh, thank you very much for that update. Hello everyone, this is Afternoon Live, I'm Simon McCoy. The former First Minister of Scotland, Alex Salmond, has said he is innocent of any criminality whatsoever after he emerged from a court in Edinburgh following his arrest last night. He did not say what he's charged with. Police have been investigating complaints against him of sexual harassment, which he strenuously denies. Let's go to our Scotland correspondent, Lorna Gordon, who's outside Edinburgh Sheriff Court for us now. Lorna. 
Yes, Simon. And, uh, Alex Salmon arrived here at Edinburgh Sheriff Court a little uh, over an hour ago, the former First Minister of Scotland, the man who led the SNP into government, the man who led the drive for a referendum on Scottish independence, uh, was arrested and charged by police. Uh, we understand that happened yesterday. We do know, know what charges he faces. But a short while ago, he came out of court and made a statement, and this is what he had to say. Now, yesterday with my uh, solicitor, Callum Anderson, I uh, attended a police station in central Scotland. Uh, I was released on condition that I came to the court today to face the charges against me. That I have now done. So let me say at the outset, I am innocent of any criminality whatsoever. As you'll remember in the long process of judicial review, I made it clear in order to respect the court that I would make no comment until proceedings had concluded. That I did in the, the statement I made in the, the steps of the court of session two weeks ago. Now that these proceedings, criminal proceedings, are live, it is even more important to respect the court. And therefore, the only thing I can say is I refute absolutely these allegations of criminality and I'll defend myself to the utmost in court. I've got great faith in the, the court system of Scotland. I've got recent cause to have great faith in the court system of Scotland. And that is where I'll state my case. Now, I'm informed the court rules are that uh, your questions and my answers might well breach court rules. You know me well enough to, to know that I'd love to, to say a great deal more, but I've got to observe the rules of the court, and in court is where I'll state my case. Uh, and therefore, if you'll forgive me, I'll go back in to consult my legal team. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Within the last few moments, we have uh, news of the charges Mr. Salmon faces and the charges which he strenuously denies. He faces 14 charges, including breach of the peace and sexual offences. Mr. Salmon strongly uh, denies those charges. After making that statement, he returned into uh, the court area. We are waiting uh, to see if he uh, a car pulls up and takes him away. Earlier uh, this morning, uh, Nicola Sturgeon, Scotland's first minister uh, made a comment she said this will come as a shock to many people but as police scotland have said today these are now live criminal proceedings and now more than ever it would be completely inappropriate for her or anyone else for that matter to comment in any detail so just to recap alex hammond facing four, 14 charges amongst them a breach of the peace and sexual offenses he strongly denies any allegations of criminality. Lorna, Lorna Gordon in Edinburgh, thank you very much. Hello everyone, this is Afternoon Live, I'm Simon McCoy. Alex Salmond, the former First Minister of Scotland, has said he is innocent of any criminality after being charged with attempted rape and other sexual offences. He was speaking after appearing in court this afternoon in Edinburgh. Police have been investigating complaints against him of sexual harassment, which he strenuously denies. Well, let's go to our Scotland correspondent, Lorna Gordon, who's in Edinburgh for us now. Lorna. Yes, Simon. Alex Salmond, a former First Minister of Scotland, facing charges in a Scottish criminal court. He arrived here shortly before 2 o'clock for a short hearing which took place in private. Amongst the 14 charges, he's facing two of attempted rape, nine of sexual assault and two of indecent assault. All charges he strongly denies. Uh, court proceedings are now live, so Mr. Salmon did not take any questions from the waiting media, but he did have this to say outside court. Now, Yesterday, with my uh, solicitor, Callum Anderson, I uh, attended a police station 
in central Scotland. Uh, I was released on condition that I came to the court today to face the charges against me. That I have now done. So let me say at the outset, I am innocent of any criminality whatsoever. As you'll remember in the long process of judicial review, I made it clear in order to respect the court that I would make no comment until proceedings had concluded. That I did in the, the statement I made in the, the steps of the court of session two weeks ago. Now that these proceedings, criminal proceedings, are live, it is even more important to respect the court. And therefore, the only thing I can say is I refute absolutely these allegations of criminality. And I'll defend myself to the utmost in court. I've got great faith in the, the court system of Scotland. I've got recent cause to have great faith in the court system of Scotland. That is where I'll state my case. Now, I'm informed the uh, court rules are that uh, your questions and my answers might well breach court rules. You know me well enough to, to know that I'd love to, to say a great deal more, but I've got to observe the rules of the court, and in court is where I'll state my case. Uh, and therefore, if you'll forgive me, I'll go back in to consult my legal team. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. <clears throat> Well, Police Scotland had been investigating Mr. Salmond after a Scottish government inquiry into complaints of sexual harassment against the former First Minister. In a hearing just over two weeks ago at Scotland's highest civil court, the Court of Session, that investigation uh, was uh, thrown out when the Scottish government conceded that the internal investigation was flawed. Uh, of course, that hearing focused on the procedures followed, not on the substance of the allegations uh, themselves. And the police inquiry uh, continued culminating in today's charges. Asked about it this morning, this is what Scotland's First Minister, Nicola Sturgeon, had to say. Well, I know this will be a shock to many people, but as Police Scotland have uh, said today, these are now live criminal proceedings. And now more than ever, it would be completely inappropriate for me, or anyone else for that matter, to comment in any detail. And I hope uh, both the media and indeed members of the public will understand that position. Well, Mr Salmond made no plea during that private hearing and he was released on bail. There was considerable uh, media interest and a great number of members of the public here as well outside uh, Edinburgh Sheriff Court when he left the court a little earlier. Uh, again, just to emphasise, he uh, says he is innocent of any criminality and will uh, defend himself to the utmost in court. Lorna Gordon in Edinburgh, thank you very much. Hello, it's five o'clock. Our main story this evening, the former First Minister of Scotland, Alex Salmond, has appeared in court in Edinburgh, facing 14 charges, including two counts of attempted rape and nine of sexual assault. Mr Salmond emerged after the hearing to say he denies all the charges against him. He said he's innocent of any criminality whatsoever and promised to defend himself in court to the utmost. Well, let's get the latest from our Scotland correspondent, Lorna Gordon now, who is outside Edinburgh Sheriff Court. Lorna. Yes, Alex Salmond arrived at Edinburgh Sheriff Court shortly before two o'clock for a short hearing which took place in private. He was charged last night after voluntarily attending a police station with his, his solicitor. As he arrived here, some members of the public shouted freedom, others shouted shame on you. He shook hands with some members of the public, but because proceedings are now live, he didn't speak or take questions at that point from the waiting media, though he did make a statement outside court later strongly protesting his innocence of the charges he now faces. How are you feeling, Mr. Alex Salmond, a former First Minister of Scotland, 
facing criminal charges in the Scottish courts. Among the 14 charges, two of attempted rape, nine of sexual assault, two of indecent assault, and one alleging breach of the peace. Charges he strongly denies. I refute absolutely these allegations of criminality, and I'll defend myself to the utmost in court. I've got great faith in the, the court system of Scotland. I've got recent cause to have great faith in the court system of Scotland. That is where I'll state my case. The former First Minister is the man who led the SNP into government, led the drive for a referendum on Scottish independence. He is a titan of Scottish politics. Today's developments come a fortnight since the former First Minister attended a hearing at Scotland's highest civil court, the Court of Session in Edinburgh. When the Scottish Government conceded that its internal investigation of complaints of sexual misconduct against him was flawed. That hearing focused on procedures followed, not the substance of the allegations. Scotland's First Minister, Nicola Sturgeon, this morning had this to say. Well, I know this will be a shock to many people, but as Police Scotland have uh, said today, these are now live criminal proceedings. And now more than ever, it would be completely inappropriate for me, or anyone else for that matter, to comment in any detail. Mr Salmon made no plea, but has said he will vigorously defend himself against the charges he now faces and was released on bail. Well, perhaps it's worth uh, giving a little bit of an explanation of the legal side. This was an appearance in private. That's normal at this stage in a Scottish criminal court proceeding by long-standing convention. The prosecuting authorities the, here in Scotland only provide the charges as they're listed on the petition. Uh, there's no discussion of the details related to the case provided at this stage in the proceedings as the matter remains under investigation. Mr Salmond, of course, strongly denies any allegations of criminality and a date has yet to be set for his next appearance in court. Lorna, thank you very much indeed. Lorna Gordon reporting there from Edinburgh. Good evening and welcome to the BBC News at six. Scotland's former First Minister, Alex Salmond, a man who has dominated politics in Scotland and the UK for decades, has today been charged with two attempted rapes, nine sexual assaults, two indecent assaults and breach of the peace. Mr Salmond appeared in private at Edinburgh Sheriff Court this afternoon. Afterwards, he strenuously denied the allegations, saying he was innocent of any criminality and would defend himself to the utmost in court. Alex Salmond was arrested yesterday by police who've been investigating allegations against him since last September. Our Scotland editor, Sarah Smith, is in Edinburgh for us now. Sarah. Sophie, when the full list of charges against Alex Salmond was made public this afternoon, people were shocked. Politicians and the public alike really taken aback that a former First Minister could appear here in court charged with such a long list of serious sexual offences. Inside the court, in a private hearing which neither reporters nor the public were allowed to attend, Mr Salmond heard he is facing a total of 14 criminal charges. That includes two charges of indecent assault, nine separate charges of sexual assault and two charges of attempted rape. At this point in the proceedings, Mr Salmon was not required to enter a plea, so he didn't indicate to the court whether he intends to plead guilty or not guilty to those charges. Half an hour later, he came out to declare his innocence public. Alex Salmon left court defiant, vowing to clear his name. Only two weeks ago, he'd won a legal victory over the Scottish Government. Yesterday, he was arrested after attending a police station in central Scotland. Today, he arrived in court in Edinburgh to be told that he will face 14 charges, including two of attempted rape and nine counts of sexual assault. Our Scotland correspondent, Kieran Jenkins, is there. Kieran. Yes, John Alex Salmond, the former long-standing First Minister, still a huge figure in Scottish public life, is tonight on bail. He came here earlier to Edinburgh Sheriff Court to face 
14 charges, which we can now tell you comprise charges of sexual assault, indecent assault, a breach of the peace, and two charges of attempted rape. Now, at this point, we know very little detail about these charges. We don't know, for instance, how many accusers there are or when exactly their accusations relate to. But we do know that Alex Salmond went to a police station yesterday. This was his first appearance in court today, the beginning of the criminal process. It didn't last very long, but afterwards he came out and said once again that he denies any criminality. Here was the former First Minister of Scotland entering court where 14 charges against him would be read out. How are you feeling, Mr. Salmond? How are you feeling? Alex Salmond is charged with nine counts of sexual assault, two of indecent assault, one of breach of the peace, and two counts of attempted rape. It was a brief closed hearing, no press inside, but huge interest outside as Mr. Salmond, who didn't enter a plea in court, insisted on his innocence. Now, yesterday with my uh, solicitor, Callum Anderson, I uh, attended a police station in central Scotland. Uh, I was released on condition that I came to the court today to face the charges against me. That I have now done. So let me say at the outset, I am innocent of any criminality whatsoever. Two weeks ago, Mr. Salmon was emerging from a different court, Scotland's highest court. He just won a legal victory over the Scottish government after the civil service admitted mishandling an investigation against him. But the man who led the SNP for 20 years, first minister for seven of them, is tonight on bail. He and his successor in both roles know this is now a matter for the courts. These are now live criminal proceedings and now more than ever it would be completely inappropriate for me or anyone else for that matter to comment in any detail and I hope uh, both the media and indeed members of the public will understand that position. Well, Mr Salmond has now heard all 14 charges against him and he denies each and every one of them. The man who led the campaign for independence now with other battles to fight. He had great faith, Mr Salmon said, in the Scottish justice system where he will state his case. His next appearance is expected within seven days. Kieran Jenkins, Channel 4 News, Edinburgh.